Welcome to lesson number 19, Repackaging 101. Repackaging allows you to create projects based on capturing existing installations. The installation repackaging operation is based on monitoring the file system and registry changes performed by the monitor's installation. The repackaging process should not be performed on MSIs, as we touched in a previous video, those scenarios must be handled via MST files. Also, some other applications like Windows Media Player, Internet Explorer, antivirus software, and device drivers should not be repackaged, as these types of applications make low-level changes to the operating system involving Windows file protection. Some tips for optimal repackaging results are Repackage on a clean environment Launch repackager remotely or install advanced installer on a clean virtual machine Use the repackager interface to exclude unwanted items and close all other applications Remember that we created a test lab in video 2? Now it's time to put it to use to understand what is happening with the recapture, let's open up VMware Workstation and power up our machine. Now that our virtual machine is booted up, it's time to open up Advanced Repackager. Now in Advanced Repackager we have two options. Either we click Capture Setup and select our .exe file, or we check the Session Monitoring checkbox and the repackager will detect everything that happens on the system. Because I only want to show how the repackager works, we are going to go with the session monitoring option. So let's click this and click Capture Setup. The session monitoring option creates a package that contains only the changes you manually perform, like creating a shortcut or adding a file or an association or folder and it's great to use it if you want to find out where specific settings are stored for an application. Now that we clicked Capture Setup, let's start in VM and click on our previously configured virtual machine. As you can see, Advanced Installer automatically reverses the machine to a specific snapshot. Cool, right? After the machine is reverted to a clean state, it now performs the first system snapshot. In this step, Advanced Installer takes all the registry and files and compiles them in a snapshot, so to say. Now that the first snapshot is done, let's modify some things on the machine. Let's say I want to manually create this registry and I want to copy this file in program files. With the changes performed on the system, all we do is click Enter and Advanced Repackager starts the second capture. What the second capture does is take again all the files and registry and create a second snapshot. After the second snapshot is created, it compares it to the first snapshot and only the difference between these two are then outputted to the project. So, as you can see, the changes we've done on the system are now in our capture and if we want we could create an MSI AppV or MSIX package out of these settings. In the next video we'll have a deeper look over the repackaging process and try it out with a real EXE installer.